Today, we would like to show you how to prepare and weigh in samples for thermogravimetric analysis. Built in weigh in modes permit semi automatic or fully automatic weighing of empty crucibles or samples with crucibles. In addition, search our broad crucible portfolio to find the perfect product for your application. Adequate sample preparation is critical for achieving accurate and reproducible TGA results. This starts with the right choice of crucible. In general, standard alumina oxide crucibles are used for TGA measurements up to 1600 degrees Celsius. These can be reused and are available for different sample volumes. Standard 70 microliter and 600 microliter alumina oxide crucibles are suitable for power, polymer fiber, and metal samples. Platinum crucibles are mainly used for TGA DSC measurements at high temperatures as these produce better DSC signals compared to alumina oxide crucibles. Aluminum crucibles can only be used up to 600 degrees Celsius. The aluminum lid piercing kit is recommended for highly hygroscopic samples. For more information, please visit the TGA sample robot video found under www.mt.com forward slash TA hyphen videos. Next, we show you how to prepare powder, polymer fiber, and metal samples for TGA. After measurement, the crucible needs to be cleaned for reuse. The various cleaning procedures are explained at the end of this video. You'll need a TGA or TGA DSC system, the crucible handling box, and the samples to be measured. Sample amounts for TGA experiments range between one and several tens of milligrams. The exact amount depends on how much is needed to determine mass changes precisely, the effects measured, and the sample's behavior during heating or cooling. As a rule of thumb, the crucible should not be filled more than halfway its height. This prevents expanding samples from spilling which may cause damage to the instrument. Samples that splash are best covered with a lid to prevent contamination. Weighing in can be performed in three different ways. A TGA fitted with a sample changer automatically tears and weighs in one or several samples using the TGA's internal balance. If an experiment is running, weigh-ins are performed using an external balance connected to Star E software. Star E can also be networked to a Mettler Toledo balance via LabX for secure electronic data transfer. Next, we will demonstrate how to weigh in samples using a sample changer and internal balance. External balance weigh ins will be addressed in separate videos. First, to deactivate the auto start function in the module control window, click on Configuration and deselect auto start. Then, open an experiment in Star E software, leaving crucible and sample size text boxes blank. Enter the sample name. And send the experiment to the experiment buffer in the module control window. Next, place a sufficient number of empty crucibles onto the turntable of the sample robot. Open the experiment from the module control window. To weigh the empty crucible automatically, select the Weigh In Auto command and check Pan in the dialog box. Click OK. The sample robot automatically inserts each crucible and the tear weight is measured. Carefully add about 20 milligrams of powdered sample into the aluminum oxide crucibles using the funnel and spatula provided in the crucible handling box. And place the crucible containing the weighed sample onto the TGA turntable. To transfer sample weight automatically, select the weigh-in auto command and check sample in the dialog box. The sample weight is displayed in the experiment buffer. To start the experiment automatically, activate Auto Start in the Configuration dialog box. Click OK and select Start Experiment.
600 microliter aluminum oxide crucibles are best suited for low density samples. Using tweezers, insert the low density thermoplastic fiber into the crucible. Inert PCA 70 microliter crucibles are preferred for metal samples such as nickel, which may alloy with or penetrate into the structure of an incompatible crucible. TGA experiments often leave behind residues that need to be removed from reusable crucibles, such as those made from aluminum oxide or platinum. The following cleaning procedures were developed to tackle different types of residues. Mechanical cleaning, acid-base chemical cleaning, and heat treatment. Residual ash is easily removed simply by turning the crucible upside down and shaking it gently. A glass fiber brush may be used for removing adhering residues. Dip the crucible in diluted hydrochloric acid solution and wash with water to remove chloride impurities. Heat treatment in an oxidative atmosphere or using an external burner is ideal for removing organic residues, such as those formed by polymers or pharmaceutical products. You now know how to prepare a powder, a polymer fiber, and a metal sample. Additional tips and hints can be found in Chapter 10.3 of Thermal Analysis and Practice. For more TA-related how-to videos, including liquid and DSC sample preparation methods, please go to www.mt.com forward slash TA hyphen videos.